Sit down, let me tell you a story. Now, this story will have a little of everything. Grit, determination, controversial line calls. Let's get started right now. Please leave your comments, please subscribe, and don't forget to have a good day. Annalie Waters, Catherine Parento, great teammate, <laughs> against Megan and Elise Jones. It's going to be a good match. The match of the tournament, in my opinion, IMO, if you're texting. Megan and Elise got down early, but they did not stop hustling. They're down 9-3, and look at this ATP. Keep this in mind later. And it is Elise Jones with a gorgeous ATP. She had to go a long way. She was in the middle of the court. She's down 9-3, going for the ATP, diving. This is one way to change momentum in a match. Go for every single point. Never stop trying. Anna and Catherine had momentum all throughout game one. Elise and Megan were hustling that... You know what's off. I can't say it on camera. They were really trying to stop momentum by calling timeouts, really hustling, positive energy. Keep talking to your opponents. Don't be passive aggressive. They keep talking. They keep trying. They're still down, but they're playing each point to its fullest. Look at this point. Look at this incredible point right here. She's falling! But she can get up. In fact, she got up every single point. This match, she earned so many fans. Who's my favorite pro player? Elise Jones, hands now down. Now you know what I'm saying. Elise Jones is my favorite player now. I love her. Finally, after all this hustle, all this energy that Elise and Megan put into turning this game around, it changed in the blink of an eye. It really did. Okay. Timeout receiver. Timeout number two. Timeouts can really change momentum. At this time in the match, Anna Lee Waters was taking a timeout. Oh, first one, a little closer than the score, but this one, the score, I think, is accurate. This has been all Megan Design and Elise Jones, and they've got a game point here to force a third. Megan and Elise up 10-3 at this point in the second game after getting blown out the first game. So this is to go into a third game. Number one rule of pickleball, put your opponents away. Don't miss dinks in the net. Because the next point in pickleball will make you wake up with night sweats. You'll wake up all wet in bed. My voice is cracking just thinking about Momentum it. Momentum in pickleball is like my love-hate relationship with the world. You either have it and you really love it, or you don't and ain't going good in your life. <laughs> With that said, we really want momentum on our side, so how do we keep it? Number one, we don't want the other team to call timeouts. Number two, we don't want the other team to change that strategy. Number three, we need to keep playing our game, play loose, hope the other team doesn't loosen the grip on that paddle. This is the point. This is the point. Directly after that, Megan and Elise are still up 10-3. ATP, beautiful, the key momentum. But wait. Megan design. Continues the Megan it was how? Show. This time it's a the announcers the don't even sprint. know what happened. Adapted well to that. Wait. You figure what did Lee Waters say oh, to Santo and, and Lee Waters? Oh wait, wait, this is being called out. Watch closely. Watch closely because I believe the ref on the foresight is saying it was in. Basically, hey look, it was in. End of story. End of discussion. Ref says it was in. It was in. That's how I think. Maybe I think too simple. Looks into me. Very close. You could argue. There's no video replay today, so that'll sort of flash past that. Okay. Yeah. So they called it out, so it's a point. Did you see that? They were live mic for a second. The ref told the other one to turn the uh, microphone off. Once this happens, the announcers kind of cover for them. You could watch a live stream. I don't believe the announcers were correct. What I'm saying is I don't think the referees really knew the rule. If you watch a tape, the other referee said it was in. They overruled the call. The refs talked. I don't think they quite understood. So she's a little disgruntled, understandably. She played a fantastic game. Yeah, so you hope for their sake, because look at the time that Elise Jones on camera here is investing in mechanics of a call and not, it's 10-4, okay? They need to get the ball back and finish. Um, now we're at match point. Now we're at match point for Anna Lee Waters and Catherine Parento. And that will do it in a heartbreaking loss. Truly heartbreaking from a call that never should have happened that changed momentum. And momentum is a, 
You know what? Look, I'm not trying to bash referees. They don't make a lot of money. They train hard. They truly love this game. That's why they're doing it. But what I'm saying is that caused Elise and Catherine to feel horrible after this game. You didn't see them pretty much lying on the ground feeling horrible. And you know why they do this? Because they have a childlike passion for pickleball. And this really does hurt. It really does. It's not just a game for them, nor me. Pickleball lovers, any comments about the story, please leave your comments, please subscribe, and don't forget, here at the Pickleball Pirates, we may love pickleball just as much as you do. I know it's tough to believe, but it's true.